Josh. Hey, John, congratulations on the win. Uh, congratulations on moving forward in the next round. Um, what does it say about this LA Galaxy defense? You guys were able to hold them to one goal through, you know, 180 minutes. Um, most teams that, that have success in the playoffs really tighten up the defense whenever it matters. Do you feel like that's happening? Yeah, um, it definitely seems like that. Um, to limit the chances, limit their opportunities, um, especially in the first game. And, um, we knew they were going to throw everything at us in the second game. Um, it was, uh, their team was on the line a little bit for their season. So we knew we had to really focus. Um, and it's not just the back line defending. It's, uh, it was a group effort defending. Um, so it's, 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 it's a good place to be in, a, in, a, in the playoff push. What, what have you seen from just the collective team in these last two games in terms of the defensive side? Yeah, everyone's bought into it's it's do or die now. There's no uh, hoping someone else can make a play for you. Everyone has to make a play. And if if uh, you're not committed to, to the group as a whole, um, some bad situations might come up. But the, the mentality of the group's been great for the last two weeks. Um, and, and knowing that uh, we need to make a, a, the right decisions at all time, and it's all about the group. On a, on a lighter note, a little bit busier tonight than you were in the, in the first game. Uh, does, does that feel a little better for you? I, I don't care if I'm busy. I don't care if I have 100 shots. I don't care if I got no shots. Um, at the end of the day, if we're winning, that's that's the most important thing, you know. Um, if I can get shutouts, great. If if we win, that's the most important thing. Thanks, John. Thanks, man. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, John. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Um, you know, you kind of mentioned it earlier, kind of the team, everybody kind of just buying into that defensive mentality. We're seeing, you know, guys maybe who during the regular season weren't playing as much defense kind of hustle a bit more. Just how infectious has that message been for the whole squad? And I guess maybe how rewarding is it, you know, kind of you see everything, to kind of see everybody kind of pull in their part to, you know, it's do or die now in the playoffs. Yeah, it's huge. It's, it's, it's needed in these moments to have a, a group defensive effort, I think. We know, I think a lot of teams know that we are very good in attacking moments. Um, and if we can if we can step up in our defensive team, whether that's me, the back line, the midfield, or, or the front three, it doesn't matter. If we can find a way to come together as a group um, and, and be completely bought in, which we have been for the last two weeks plus, um, that it's a great mentality to have. And it doesn't matter if we win games one nothing, 10 nothing, 10 9 It's all about that, that mentality to just find a way to win at the end of the game. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you too, you guys' next match is probably going to be within 20 days or a bit later. Um, how frustrating is that to kind of, you know, maybe cool down a bit as, as the playoffs are, you know, getting into these more intense stages? Yeah, it's bad. It's just bad scheduling from the league. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to do it. Um, it's, it's tough. You have to just find a way to, to get some downtime um, and enjoy some time with your family and then and get right back into it. But it's, it's definitely one of those things that I think across the league, um, it, it should be it should be sorted out because it's four weeks from the last game to another international break. So it's really one of those tough things that I think across the league it needs to be sorted out. So, but we'll take a few days, get our get our minds right, enjoy some downtime with our family, um, and then get right back to it and have that, that mindset of whether it's I think Salt Lake or Minnesota. I think that's who we play. Um, but just just get back into it when we can. But enjoy the days off. And we'll wrap with Justin Ruderman. Go ahead, Justin. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, John, for your time. Congratulations on the win. Um, aggregate obviously doesn't matter in this format, but 9-1 is pretty impressive. Uh, you've been on a championship team before. Do you feel like this is a another championship team here? I hope. <laughs> I hope, man. You know, um, like I said, I think I think teams know we have the ability to score goals and uh, we're really dangerous going forward. Um, so I think when we we're able to keep uh, the group the group mindset of buying in defensively. It, it, it helps out a lot, um, and it'll probably frustrate teams a little bit. Um, so, like you said, aggregate doesn't matter. And like I said, I don't care what the scores are at the end of the day, as long as uh, we're on top. Thank you. Safe travels home. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. Any more questions for John? Uh, with that, thank you for your time, John. See you guys. Have a good night.